G'day and welcome to today's video. Once again I found myself on Mount Kutha. I don't know why it's become an obsession for me but I'm going to try and link up Mount Kutha and then Jolly's Lookout on Mount Nebo without any traffic lights. I'm pretty sure I can get there. Just taking a break here at the top of Mount Kutha, over the back near um, Channel 7. The uh, cockatoos are going crazy. I'm really so lucky to be um, living so close to... I don't know, nature. <laughs> There's some good climbs around here and I get to string them all together. I had a question from Lockie about why I always wear black and uh, what my thoughts were on high-vis gear and uh, I never really thought about it that much I didn't you know I have um, in winter I put lights on my bike and I've got reflective details and all that sort of stuff so I can be seen but the black is basically um, ease of ease of wear ease of use um, doesn't show up dirt as much. Um, it's less about. It's not a. It's not a protest or anything like that against high vis. And I do have some high vis clothing, like um, a spray jacket and um, yeah, one kind of almost high vis uh, jersey. But, um, yeah, black is just me because you know I don't like wearing a lot of colourful clothes because they tend to go out of fashion really quickly and uh, I don't want, want to be a billboard for anybody else's club or um, commercial interest so black it is um, yeah and today's black is um, a Giro race jersey from two years ago I bought two of these and they were on special which is good um, I often wear stuff from Netty, which is uh, an Australian brand, and I, I think they're not producing gear anymore, which is interesting. And um, the Knicks I wear are Pearl Azumi, and I've just been wearing them for years. Not the same ones, of course, but I've always worn Pearl Azumi Knicks because they seem to fit me best. Yeah, so I'm driven more by value, value for money and longevity and long wear and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, hope that answers your question, Lucky. Um, if you want to know more, just um, yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. I'm happy to talk to you about the way I ride or the gear I use, anything like that. But um, yeah, thanks for asking. Back to the ride. Here, but I, I don't come up here that often. I should do it. I should do it more often. Beautiful. I think I did pretty well. Okay. That climb, I don't know. Um, I have to check the driver record, but I think I may have um, got a PB.
Yeah, so here's something interesting. There's two guys that I passed about five minutes earlier. Now they've caught up. One of them has come straight past me and he's now just sitting on the front. Why is he sitting on the front? So I'm going to ride up alongside him and just see how he's recovering from that effort to get across to me. You can see he's breathing heavy and there's uh, snot dripping from his nose. So and I'm going to lay back and see what condition the other guy is in and he's, um, he's not going to take the wheel. So he's shaking his head. He's made too much of an effort. So I'm going to lay off the, the guy in front for a little while and then just hit him on the downhill. Here we go. Boom. Well, that didn't take much, did it? So the ride by number is 3 hours and 16 minutes, 72 kilometres, 2,017 metres of vertical. 